creating a training module or facilitating a live instructor-led training, instructional designers will want to use a PowerPoint presentation to run automatically. To do this, go to the Slideshow tab at the top of the ribbon. Click Set Up Show. Check the box for Loop Continuously until you hit Escape, and click OK. To set up a specific timing for each slide, you need to apply transitions to automatically advance slides during the slideshow. Go to the Transitions tab. You'll want to be in either Normal View or Slide Sorter View. Once you select a slide, click the Transitions tab on the ribbon and, and then select the transition in the Transitions Gallery, such as Fade. Click Effect Options and choose the desired option for that particular transition. These options may vary depending on the type of transition you've chosen. In the Timings group, click the arrow beside Duration. This sets up the timing you want in seconds for the transition. Experiment with various timings and you can also type a custom timing. Also in the timing group, under Advanced Slides, deselect or uncheck on mouse click. Select or click the up and down arrows to select the timings to transition to the next slide. You can also type a custom duration here as well. In the timing group, click Apply to All. This applies that transition and timing to all slides. If your slideshow is set up to loop continuously, the slideshow transition timings will be applied in that loop. Let's preview. 